Story time with Game Master Mike, and this time is going to be about my elementary school lunch stories. Well, um, I had fun um, eating lunch at school. Um, sometimes my mom forces me to eat lunch at school because I would rather pack my lunch. But um, some of the foods are great, such as like pizza, chicken nuggets, and pepperoni rolls, which I really do enjoy. But other lunch store lunch seems either undercooked or overcooked, but you cannot tell with my elementary school. Now, I remember when I was in kindergarten, we had lunch at 10.30 a.m. Now, I remember we had the cafeteria to ourselves, which was very neat, and the uh, teachers will serve us, which is um, kind of cool, but as soon as we reach the first grade, we have to like wait in a long line to get our food, and the cook's serve you uh, whatever's on your plate. And so, of course, we had to, like, eat everything on our plate before we can go outside and play for recess. Well, I'm going to tell you all some interesting stories which will um, blow your mind. And so, when I was a kid, every time I see somebody with a Lunchables pizza, I was like, dude, that kid has the coolest lunch. Like me, gr growing up in an average family household, I was also allowed to have a Lunchables once a month, and that's it. Sometimes it comes with a juice box, sometimes it doesn't, but I don't care. It's a Lunchables pizza. I have the coolest lunch in the school. Well, um, let me tell you something. Of course, when I was in the fourth grade, I got told on, and I did get in trouble by the lunch lady, by the way. All right, and then across the table from me, there is this girl with a Lunchables pizza. Of course, she split it up in four to uh, share with other people on the table. And, of course, with the cheese, you know, the cheese from the Lunchable, the shredded cheese. She let those people there um, pick at it and eat it. So, you know what I did? I reached to the other table, grabbed a piece of cheese, and ate it. And you know what she did? She told the lunch lady on me. And I got in a lot of trouble. I, They made me move to an empty table where I sit there for the rest of the lunch period. Like, oh my god, I'm in so much trouble. Well, and here's another um, creepy story, which a food fight almost happened when I was in the second grade. Hold on for just a second here. Let me... Okay, when I was in the second grade, there was this boy, which was in the first grade. He had a nickname called the Son of Dahmer. Everyone in school called him that, which I'll explain to you all during uh, my creepy recess stories, because this is the real truth. You know, the Son of Dahmer, like Jeffrey Dahmer, by the way. And I'll explain everything. And so, when I was in the second grade, um, he pretty much threw his food to other kids, wanted to start a food fight. Well, the lunch lady caught him and moved him to the um, other side of the table. And it, pretty much he was screaming and cussing real loud. I even went up and told my teacher about it just to get screamed at by the lunch lady. Eventually, they um, grabbed this boy and took him to the principal's office because he was causing a scene going off Everything saying that he was going to um, kill somebody's cat, which he really said. Because I was terrified of him that he said that to um, everybody in the lunchroom while there was other kids eating. I was in the second grade at that time and he was in the first grade. So I got a lot of stories to tell you about that kid, which was pretty creepy and scary. And so, uh, pretty much, I didn't see him much after that. And, of course, he did not start food fights after that, which was pretty scary that he said that, uh, that which was unbelievable. So, uh, and also, there was the muffin incident, which happened when I was in the fourth grade with this one kid. And so, it was a typical... Um, Lunch day when I was in the fourth grade, um, we had our lunch at 11.30, which was um, third and fourth graders have at that time. <clears throat> and so this boy on the other side of the table was crying his eyes out because 
they ran out of muffins. And so um, he was crying his eyes out. And then later on, um, he locked himself in the janitor's closet and would never come out. He, like, refused to come out. They had to, like, get the principal up there to basically break open the door just to get him out. Because he wanted a muffin and they ran out of muffins. Like, isn't that something? Like, you would lock yourself in the janitor's closet and refuse to come out because of something like that. Oh, my God. Of course, watching that episode of South Park with... Um, Tom Cruise locking himself in the closet and won't come out. That trapped in the closet episode. Oh my god, that is a riot episode. <laughs> oh my gosh. And so there you go, folks. That is my elementary school lunch stories. And I'll tell you all about my next video, which was is going to be about my creepy recess stories. Because there are some scary things going on with my creepy recess stories. And I'll tell you all about me jumping in the mud during recess so I can get sent home from school during my um, next video, hopefully. And there you go, folks. Thanks for watching, and until next time.